Hello, I'm Jack Algier, Farm Director at Stone Barns. And I'm Trevor Swope, the Culinary Director for Blue Hill at Stone Barns. Today we're going to talk about escarole and a process of uh, farming it and growing escarole that helps to make a better, better culinary product. So escarole, like a lot of other bitter greens that are, that are similar to lettuces, uh, radicchio, endive, uh, even dandelion, all have uh, a bit of bitterness, and so, which many people like, and in a lot of traditions, the bitterness is really a part of our spring vegetable. Uh, helps to clean our palates and, and really is something that is uh, craved in, in a lot of traditional cultures. So there's also a lot of art to this and one of the things that we like to do that can help uh, sort of decrease the bitterness and improve the sweet flavors is to actually, while these things are growing, just before they're really ripe, is to tie them with a string closed around the top. And the plant continues to grow inside that head but it doesn't get sunshine on it. And without the sunshine, you don't get the green. And also without the green, you don't get the bitterness. So that happens in both these broadleaf type escaroles and these more frise type endive, Belgian uh, frise type endives and uh, escaroles. So once we've get this all taken care of and they come to ripe and they're nice and thick and ready to go, hmm. we bring them the door into the kitchen. Exactly. And so as you just heard Jack describe, like there's a lot of technique and, and sort of care put into producing these heads and making them so exceptional. And it's something we always get really excited about every year. And it's a perfect example of one of those ingredients that because of all that energy that goes into making them so great, we just want to highlight them as they are as much as possible to really just sort of let them sing and let all the of Jack's sort of hard work really shine through. So whenever we have it in the kitchen, essentially we'll pare down some of these green outer leaves, the more sort of bitter leaves, um, picking the uh, yellow or white leaves on the inside. And then as far as cooking goes, again, we just want to let this delicious green shine. So it's a very hot saute pan, just a film of some good olive oil in there. And then just a really quick saute of the, uh, these beautiful bitter or mildly bitter leaves. And then out of the pan, seasoned with some good olive oil, salt, pepper, lemon juice, some fresh herbs, and that's all it takes. You know, we really don't want to mask or sort of obscure any of the work that Jack's been doing to make such a delicious product, and um, it just tastes fantastic. I look forward to this every year. It's exactly what I had for dinner last night, and uh, I hope you can try it as well.